nutrition at school, there are a couple pitfalls that I think all parents want their children to avoid. And although vending machines are only supposed to be on at certain times, it's oftentimes the vending machine where the really sugared beverages are found. And so when you're trying to give your child the golden rule when it comes to good nutrition and particularly the beverages that they chew, there's really not room in most children's diet to have regular soft drinks on a day in and day out basis. And certainly they're sweet and everybody loves them, but they fall into that category of a red light food. These are foods that you need to stop and think about, you put on the brakes, and they're only once in a while. So although some schools have great vending machine options, we're not completely there yet. So the dietitians at Texas Children's Hospital would want to encourage parents to say no vending options unless it's water or low-fat milk. No vending options because, again, that's where the soft drinks are going to be hiding in your child's school. For Texas Children's Hospital, I'm Roberta Andrews.